Alright, you're back again with yet another boombox, if you can even call this a boombox. This is a Sharp 5P27H and it dates from 1978. So yeah, portable radio, cassette player. So you may notice that <laughs> the Sharp is uh, upside down here. And that's because this thing is really meant to lie flat. And when you lay it flat, you will see it has a television built into it. So yeah, even though this is a portable radio designed to be carried about, this is the way it's meant to sit. When you press eject, tapes go in like that. So I picked this up on eBay probably about 10 years ago. I just happened to see it one day and thought, that is awesome and bought it it cost me more to ship it <laughs> uh, than it did to actually buy it this thing weighs an absolute ton it's the heaviest boombox I have it's even heavier than that big Amstrad thing with the record player on it so we'll have yes portable black and white TV uh, I don't know what size it is I'm guessing about three and a half four inch Here's your tuner for the TV, the tuner for the radio, and the corresponding dials. Have our selector switch here for TV, FM, uh, medium wave, and long wave. Have our AFC selector. Your mode switch here for tape, sleep, and TV or radio. And then we have our volume controls, we have mix balance, bass, treble and your main volume. There is a, a VU meter here. I think this is the built in microphone. And then your main controls for the cassette deck and it has this uh, metal bar here. Which is uh, there to protect the buttons. These are big like piano keys. So this metal bar protects these keys from getting snapped off. On the top, I have our two speakers, main speaker and uh, tweeter. The speaker in this isn't actually very big. It's not as big as this grill. I have had this thing apart. And the speaker is maybe three inches, three and a half inches. So it's not as big as this grill is. I have your contrast and brightness controls for the television and a tape counter up there. Also have the aerial here and there's a switch here which turns the light on in the radio tuning dial. On the left hand side of the radio here we have our antenna input and your vertical and horizontal hold controls for the television. Not much to see on the back or what would be the bottom. Your main label here and the battery compartment. And on the right hand side here we have our inputs. You have a microphone input with the remote. We have a, a DIN connector. Earphones and a monitor. Your beat switch. Your AC and DC input and then I have a big switch here which turns the mains on and off. If you flick at the off it won't work via AC. I'm not sure about the DC. I've never used it and it actually looks like something broke off in there. So I've never used DC with this. So obviously there's no analog TV anymore. But I'll plug this in <laughs> to my Betamax player. Which has an RF out on it. And um, we'll see if we can get the Betamax tuned in. And play something on the screen on this. Flick it into TV mode. Flick this switch up. And the TV should come on. Probably take it a second to light up. There you go. This top knob here is the tuner for the TV. This bottom knob is the tuner for the radio. So if it's on TV here, if I flick it to FM, 
Yeah, but it's on the radio. So the radio does work, it's not a great reception in here. Now next I'll put it into tape mode, so if I flick this big switch all the way down, it's now ready to play a tape. And I have some royalty free music here, downloaded from YouTube's audio library. And again, this will play slow. Pretty damn slow, that's uh, far slower than it should be. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is this is a mono unit, there's only one speaker, there's only a mono head in the cassette deck, so there's no uh, stereo mode for the radio for FM radio, there's no FM stereo mode because it only has one speaker. So that's a pretty uh, decent demo of it working. I'll go and try and tune the Betamax into this now and we'll see what happens. Don't say you don't remember me because I sure as heck fire remember you. It's Big Ned Ryerson. He's on those dead in the head. Come on, buddy. Case, what's your name? That radio is pretty much exactly the same size as my Sanyo Betamax player. It's actually probably a bit thicker. But yeah, got the Betamax tuned in and it no problem. And uh, that at least shows you the TV doing something rather than just static. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you in the next one.